Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is an engine, one of my SMX engines that I just got done with for Tony Braglio out of uh, Maryland. And Tony's longtime customers had some of our other stuff and uh, decided he wanted to do this and do some outlaw pro mod racing. And uh, so this is, now this is the first time, this is the uh, F4X140. So this is the new deal. Now, before everybody gets their freaking panties all bunched up and uh, all super excited, uh, I, we will do a little bit of back-to-back -back testing because I actually have uh, an identical motor for a different customer, Derek Ornelas, that is going on the dyno next. So identical engine with a 136. Um, just because the blower is bigger, does not mean that this thing does not, as far as I can tell so far, I mean, this thing is not like 200 horsepower better, 300 horsepower better. Four, it's not like that. That's not the way the thing works, all right? Um, but is it a better blower uh, and more durable? That's what the whole point is and what they've been trying to prove out and do in the Pro Mod applications. Um, Derek's not a, a Pro Mod car. So that's why we have 136 on it. So it's going to be interesting to see. That'll be the next one that comes up. But uh, this is a uh, 540 cubic inch SMX, fully water jacketed. Uh, you can see water in, water in, water out, water out. Uh, each side, so fully separated. There's no water that goes in between the cylinder head and the block. Uh, each compartment is fully separated. So each cylinder head has its own little water system per se, and each side of the block has its own water system. Nothing gets transferred in between the top and the bottom. Nothing gets transferred between side to side. So technically, I mean, it's four lines, four lines in, four lines out. That's how that needs to work. But anyways, they're lower compression because this is on my SMX platform where it's made to run on pump gas, uh, low octane stuff, Drive it. If you got enough radiator in a car, drive it to California and back. Don't care. And uh, we got some really cool stuff coming up uh, that I'm really super excited about and some big endurance stuff that's going to be awesome. But anyways, uh, 540 cubic inch. This one in particular, he already had Holly in the car and wanted to stay Holly, so that's cool. Holly, billet atomizer, twin 700s. Uh, because Tony's not going to be doing any driving on the street, uh, we can if he wants to. Uh, I can just put the third set of injectors in there and uh, uh, run it on pump gas or run whatever he wants to. Uh, all of my intake manifolds are set up for three injectors, so it still just has blanks down there. And he can plumb it if he wants to and use those rails for part of the plumbing if he wants to uh, exit from the front and, and input from the front. Um, of course, it has all our good proven valve train. Um, been really working on, uh, this is the MSD 600. Been working on some spark plugs, spark plug wires, some tune-up stuff, and uh, just working our way through this whole project. Methanol, of course. And uh, um, this one, you know, because I can't dyno with uh, zoomies uh, in the room here, I don't. Have, that's just not the way I'm set up. So everything is set up to run on some type of collector-style muffler, so or collector-style header. So I. You know, have dyno headers for these things. So this will get zoomies, which is going to change the tune up a little bit. But uh, and I'll talk about that more at probably. Um, you know, our dry sump setup, the Pro Charger gear drive, really nice, solid deal. Uh, really super happy with this, and uh, looking forward to getting through uh, the next ones. So let's uh, put the camera down. We'll go out there. We'll make a run, and uh, make a hit on this, and we will take a look at the numbers.
take a look at the numbers here and uh, you can you can hear it really uh, it hits that 9,000 rpm right there and it it really starts singing for some reason I I'm not sure why I, I gotta come back in it because uh, oh, sorry you for sure see on the dad logger in the holly that uh, um, I uh, it goes to 9,000 but it don't it doesn't get that last two uh, numbers up here I'm not sure if it's because I'm pulling back real quick or exactly why but it only goes at it last numbers it recorded and it's been doing this almost every time uh, but I don't really want to run the thing I don't really like these things will run 9500 rpm um, kind of like them to be in that 9000 and below range that's a better better place for them but uh, you can still see I mean it's still it's the, the torque curve is flattened out out here and I do believe that um, uh, like this particular application and a lot of these especially supercharged applications are going to go in there with zoomies and I can't dyno with a zoomie a full-on regular zoomie um, so you know we have a header, a header a collector style header on it uh, which you can see right there um, you know like we just already showed so it's um, it's going to be a little bit different and I think it's going to change up here so I don't want to just keep on fine tuning fine tuning fine tuning and I have been manipulating stuff up here uh, to to uh, with individual cylinder trims and trying to work on some stuff and some of that stuff just isn't going to apply with uh, zoomies so there's going to be some things we're going to end up having to redo so it's not a whole lot of point of just trying to fine tune this thing to make another uh, 50 horsepower just for the sake of making it on the dyno I'm um, not really about that um, because we're gonna end up having to redo it on uh, when it gets in the car anyways but really super sound and I mean it it, it gets a different note up there uh, when it gets above 8500 you can hear a little, a little different change in, in note and it's still climbing up there it has a little hump right here um, I could probably get that out if I continue to work on it, but like I said, everything I'm doing here is really going to be negated by putting uh, uh, zoomies on it later. So not much point in doing it. But uh, 33, 24, 8800, uh, 2,000 uh, foot-pounds of torque at, two, at 8,000 RPM. Uh, pretty typical deal. Now this is at 50 pounds of boost. We can go over here and look at. All that, oh, uh, actually, 48 pounds, but and it, but it makes I think it's at the uh, it's like 49.8 or something at 9,000 uh, in the in the Holly data logger. Um, oil pressure is looking good. Oil pressure is hot or it's hot oil right now because I've been running the oil heater on it the whole time and uh, um, and we've been making pulls all day working on tune up stuff, so it's gotten temperature and fuel pressure is good. Uh, you know, horsepower right there. So that's a pretty pretty good solid piece. I'm I'm really super happy with that um, because this still is in my straight out uh, SMX platform. So water, you know, fully water jacketed. Uh, you can and dead serious, you can drive if you have enough radiator in a car. You could drive this motor, put it on pump gas, and drive this to freaking California and back has proven uh, you know with drag week stuff everything else that we got going on so it's lower compression uh, I can throw a bunch more compression ratio in this but I don't have a bunch of to it um, trying to keep a you know consistent platform so anyways I think uh, it's gonna be really cool getting this in Tony's car and uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty sweet deal uh, so I'm real happy with it and I think we'll after we get some things sorted out uh, finalized tune stuff you know with the zoomies and just car related stuff. I think it's gonna be really good. So I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.